Hi, I'm Tom Maurer. I'm the founder and the chief scientific officer of Sizzle International. And I'm here to talk to you about the dark side of shampoo. Crazy subject, but a very true one. One you should be aware of what's in your shampoo because what's in it is going into your body and has the potential to do a lot of serious harm and damage your health and also that of your children and your family. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal recently called Shame on Shampoo and in that article they were saying it had affected male babies so badly that sperm count which used to be a hundred thousand about 1950 is down to five thousand units today a ninety five percent decline and it's because these ingredients that are commonly found in shampoos are estrogen mimics in other words they work like estrogen and on the male baby they suppress the masculine development and on the female baby they will overdevelop it so if you've noticed that girls are going through puberty at a much earlier age I think you're right and it can be attributable to the ingredients that are in shampoos now you need to understand the ingredients in sha most shampoos have been used for a long time they were grandfathered in many many years ago uh, before they really knew what the scientific uh, basis of these ingredients were and how they could affect human health. But now we know. So here are some of the ingredients that we think you should look for in shampoos and avoid them. The worst one, in our opinion, is sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium lauryl sulfate. Sodium lauryl sulfate is made into a higher foaming level by ethoxylating it and it be can become sodium lauryl sulfate. Now that process creates what's called dioxins. Dioxins are carcinogens or potential cancer causing agents and they're also endocrine disruptors. And so when you are shampooing your hair, they go into your skin, through your blood system and carried throughout the entire body, including the brain. And so over the period of your life, they have the potential to cause cancer. In fact, uh, in Vietnam, when they defoliated the jungles with Agent Orange, Dioxin was the ingredient they believe caused all the cancer in Vietnam vets and shampoos can absolutely be loaded with it. You won't see it on your label because it's an ingredient that's a side effect of the reaction from making the high foaming ingredient that is used in shampoos. So dioxins are not only carcinogens, they're endocrine disruptors. In fact is they're about 400 times more powerful than estrogen and the bad thing is they're not metabolized by the liver so they just keep building up and they're especially bad in getting into fat cells. Parabens are another compound that's a preservative commonly used in shampoos and it's also an endocrine disruptor and a carcinogen and a recent study just showed that 94 percent of all breast cancer cells contain parabens and we believe that most breast cancer cells will contain dioxins too since it builds up in the fatty tissues. Now these endocrine disruptors are very damaging to the male and the female system but that isn't all. In fact the sodium lauryl sulfate which is commonly used is an industrial compound that's used to uh, clean garage floors, degrease engines, things of that nature in car wash soap uh, because it will actually break down or denature proteins unfortunately that's just what it does to your skin too it will strip the lipids from the skin because of the sulfate fraction that's with it so we say avoid anything that has sulfates in but especially sodium lauryl sulfate in fact studies show that it can actually penetrate through the skin and go to the brain and all of the major organs and because it'll denature proteins it has the potential to be a very serious health hazard just a few years ago the Institute to Prevent Blindness commissioned the Georgia Medical School to do a study on sodium lauryl sulfate and they wanted to see if it would keep children's eyes from developing properly so they tested on animals and guess what they found young mammals eyes did not develop properly if they were tested with sodium lauryl sulfate but they also said it damaged the eyes so badly that it might cause cataracts in adults those are pretty serious things and they're in shampoo the shampoo which you think is so safe can be so potentially harmful. So if all these studies weren't bad enough, there's a study from the University of Helsinki uh, in Finland and also one, a German study that showed that sodium lauryl sulfate, which is commonly used in almost all hair shampoos, could inhibit the growth of hair. Hair normally grows about four years and then it falls out for three months. But in their studies, if uh, sodium lauryl sulfate was used, hair would only grow about two years, and then it would fall out and become dormant for two years. So if you're wondering as you're getting older, that why
why your hair isn't as thick or growing as vigorously as it did when you're younger, sodium lauryl sulfate may well be the answer. So what's the answer for you? Well, the answer for you is to find a shampoo that does not contain these potentially harmful ingredients. Anything that has the word Laureth, P-E-G, sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate, sulfates, parabens, those are the ingredients that we think are the most potentially harmful in shampoos. Now that you know what these potentially harmful ingredients are, you have the right to, to know to choose to use products that don't contain them, but you're going to have a tough time finding products that don't have these ingredients in it. But with Sizzle International, our mission is to make products without any of the potentially harmful ingredients and to use the finest blend of the most elegant ingredients for skin care and hair care that's possible. Sizzle shampoo is elegant and rinses and leaves your hair beautiful. The best thing about it is what's not in it. So when you're considering shampoo, take a look at Sizzle and you'll find it's the shampoo you want for beautiful, elegant hair.